Hi everyone, Ralph Garifano here, PGA Professional Hunters Run uh, with your tip of the month. We have not done a short game piece yet, so we're going to discuss a pitch shot, but not only a pitch shot, a pitch shot where there's a little elevation in front, and as you can see here, we have very little green to work with. Slight incline, very little green to work with. So folks, too many of you I see here defer to the pitch and run shot. Now there's always a time and a place for the pitch and run, it's just not here. Here's a shot where it requires spin and height right off the bat. So let's talk about how to do that. First we're going to take our most lofted club, our, I, this is my 60 degree lob wedge here, and we want you to not be afraid to set that club face open. Again, like I said, don't defer to the square face, ball back in your stance, hands forward. There's a time and a place for it. Again, it's not here. Here, we're looking to set the club with rich wrist hinge and get the club wide open and then get the club to slide under the ball. That's what we're looking to do here. So the big no-no's here would be ball back in your stance, club face going inside with the club face closed. We're looking to get the club to go straight back up with wrist hinge and expose the bounce or open the club face. So that should look like open, slide, hold. Open, hinge, slide, hold your finish, club face to the sky. That ball's coming off with a lot of spin. That ball landed and only released three feet. That's what we're looking to do. Let's try it from a different angle. Okay, so here we are from the down the line angle. Again, I had mentioned the no-nos earlier. A big no-no, way back in your stance, the club face too, square, too shut, and the club going back to the inside with a shut club face. That's gonna produce a very low shot that's gonna run way too much, exactly what we don't want. So again, as I had mentioned earlier, we're looking for the height. We're going to lay the club face open, ball position a little more up, more up, and not as much shaft lean, less shaft lean. Get, don't be afraid to hinge that club, get the wrist hinge, expose the bounce, open that club face, and that ball goes up. Lots of spin. Look at that ball spin. That ball released only about one foot after it landed.